the blockchain company Injective Protocol bought an original Banksy artwork for 95,000 US dollars, and then they burnt it. Crazy, you think? Well, it's a fine line between genius and madness, they say. The artwork titled Morons, I know, I'm not making this up, was burnt during a live stream, and then it was sold again as an NFT. NFTs are non-fungible tokens, bits of information stored on the blockchain that can be linked to digital items like images, for example. So back to Banksy. The company that bought Morons burnt it, so the original paper version doesn't exist anymore. Instead, they linked the digital version of the artwork to an NFT and sold it for 380,000 US dollars. So. Who's paying that much for a digital token? And should you think about investing in NFTs? Well, here's the thing. The digital version of Morons is still pretty much available to everyone. You can even print it out and hang it. And the NFT owner couldn't do anything about it. So why would someone pay to own a digital item that's still very much available to everyone? NFTs make digital items ownable. Just like there are thousands of copies of Van Gogh's Starry Night, there's only one original. And that is owned by the MoMA in New York, by the way. In Banksy's case, there's only the digital version left. And only the person who bought the digital token, the NFT that's linked to the piece, can call themselves the actual owner. But does that really mean anything? Or is it just expensive bragging rights? So. If you're interested in collecting digital art and other collectibles, NFTs could be for you. And don't worry, you don't need to be a millionaire to join the game. You can check out some digital marketplaces like Super Rare, Nifty Gateway, OpenSea, or Maker's Place. The number of artists selling their art as NFTs is definitely growing. And it's not just visual art we're talking about. The band Kings of Leon was the first one to sell a special edition of their album When You See Yourself as NFTs. Some of the tokens included front row concert seats for life and others came with digital art. You see, there's a lot going on with NFTs these days, but it's a bit like the stock market. No one knows if your investment will pay off or if it won't at all. Some analysts predict the value will drop soon. And here's another thing to consider. Trading NFTs consumes a lot of energy. It's not clear how much exactly, but it's been predicted that it uses as much energy as a European consumes in a month for just one NFT. Ethereum, the blockchain where most NFTs are traded, say they're working on a solution to make it 99% more effective. But that means there's still a lot of room for improvement. Are NFTs a speculative bubble and just a hype? Or are they the future of digital ownership? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to find out more about what NFTs are and how you can make money with them yourself, then check out our other videos on NFTs.